This is an important technology that came out of our group. I'm going to walk you through it in two ways. The first way is through the experience. And the second way I'm going to talk about is the technology. Let's do the experience first. Let me explain to you what we try to do with touch cover from the get-go. You'll notice I'm going to connect it now to my blue touch cover. So I just click it in as you would expect. The surface turns blue along with my touch cover, and you have a beautiful integration of hardware and software. My surface knows what is connected to it. I can now bring to life the vision that is touch cover for this product. The vision that lets you produce content when you want it, how you want it, as fast as you've always done it. That's what this product was designed for. Let me give you one more second on this, on a little bit of the experience. The thing that was so critical for us in creating touch cover was that it had to be three millimeters thin. This essentially is at odds of any other keyboard you've used and still have a great typing experience. It also had to be a cover you wanted to connect, something you always had with you, something that gave you confidence, just like the kickstand, to bring this product to life. We've designed a flux fountain of magnets in this product. That's a combination of alignment and clamping magnets. You could actually never miss connecting this device. You can't miss. We force you to not miss. We do that to give you confidence. You close it, it feels like a book. We designed this organically like a book. We wanted it to feel just like that. What has more covers on it than books themselves? This spine feels like a book. When you put it in your hand and you walk away with your product, you'll hold it like a book. When you carry it against your books, it'll feel like it's another book. It's just light enough and it feels just perfect. Now, that said, I think you're going to fall in love with touch cover. I know I have. I mean, I am seriously in love with it. Outside of my wife, touch cover is number two. It's very important to me. Now, I never want to take touch cover off. And I'd argue that you don't need to and you never have to. You saw Mike move his touch cover to the back. Now, when he did that, I'm sure every single one of you thought, like, wait a minute, how do you move it to the back? Well, touch cover is pretty smart. It has an accelerometer built into it. The moment you fold it back, we know you fold it back. We know when you're not using it, and it's turned off for you. So you never have to take it off. And underneath your fingertips, it feels great. So now you've got a comfortable device with touch cover that's yours. It's personalized to you. You saw the beautiful colors that we have coming to market. And essentially, what's brought to you is an experience like none other with touch cover and surface together. Now, I showed you the experience, but I want to just show you the technology because it really is important that you understand it. And quite frankly, we have a bit of a mad scientist who many of you know named Stevie Batiche. Stevie actually invented touch cover. The fact that we have 30 years of input experience using mice and 15 years creating keyboards, we really understand how to create a great typing experience. We also knew that if we brought you touch cover and touch cover wasn't any good, boy, what a breaking moment. But we've actually evolved this technology to a point through Stevie and his work to come to a place where we've brought you an experience that's amazing at typing. There's actually seven layers squeezed in, pressed right into touch cover to keep it three millimeters thin. Now that's super thin, but critical for you to have a great experience when folding it back. Let me explain to you how the technology works just ever so slightly and quickly. So what you're going to see is I'm going to put my hands down on this uh, uh, machine here. What you're seeing is this is Surface for Windows RT, and my hands are down on touch cover. You'll notice that my hands are laying flat on touch cover right now, yet nothing's happening. If this was, in fact, a capacitive screen or the phone you might have in your pocket or some other device you might have, the keyboard would take up half the screen, and you put your fingers down, and it would look something like that. Now, that's me actually pressing on touch cover, and it knows the grams of force coming off my fingertips onto touch cover. Why is this critical? When you type in touch type speed, you have to find your home position and rest your hands. To do that, your keyboard can't fire when you put your hands down. It's comfortable. You can rest your hands. And note, as I put pressure on the J key, how the pressure goes up as I push harder, and as I release, the pressure comes off. It's actually measuring every gram of force coming off my fingertips, and as I start to type, it knows how many keys I've hit. This keyboard actually measures 10 times faster in scanning from a keyboard matrix than any keyboard guaranteed that you use today. 
It is super fast and brings great, great opportunity for you to be productive and get stuff done.